I greet you this morning or this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. And I am going to quickly turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 8. This is the um, second reading that was read for us. It is the story of the centurion. Um, but I'm not going to read the whole story because you know this story. I will start um, from verse 8. When the centurion comes to the Lord Jesus Christ on behalf of his sick servant. And this is what he says. Um, verse 8, you can read with me. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Father, in Jesus' name, I present this word to you that you may bless it, that you, you may speak to our hearts from your throne of mercy, O oh God. We seal this place with the blood of Jesus, even as we seal this word with your precious blood. Open our hearts, Father, so that we may receive and every spirit that may try to interfere is defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, for hearing me. It is in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Um, today is one of those days when the Lord chooses to speak again to us. There is a word the Lord is going to speak to us about. It is not my word. It is something he's going to speak to you directly. He will speak it to your heart. The title of today's message is The Power of Jesus' Word. The power in a word spoken by Jesus Christ himself. To begin with, every word that proceeds from the mouth of Jesus Christ has life and it has power. It has life and it has power. Jesus never speaks in vain. Whenever he speaks, that word imparts life and it empowers. His word, when it is spoken, when it leaves his mouth, it imparts life to a dead situation. It imparts life to a situation that appears to be completely hopeless. It has such power and it can change everything when it proceeds from his mouth. It has that power to change everything. A man or a woman or a human being can live on this word. We can live on one word spoken by the mouth of Jesus Christ himself. One word only from his mouth because it has power and it has life. It can change everything. And when Jesus was being tempted by the devil and the devil told him, you are very hungry, why don't you command the stones to become bread? Jesus responded and said, man shall not live by bread alone, but, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. When a word is spoken by, by the mouth of God or by the mouth of Jesus Christ, it has everything, everything we desire in this life. Whether it is riches, whether it is property, whether it is healing, whatever it is, whatever the circumstance is, once a word leaves the mouth of Jesus Christ, it has power to impart life and to bring a change. A word from his mouth comforts. 
There are many people today who need to be comforted. And you cannot be comforted by words from men. But we can be comforted by only one word from the mouth of Jesus. When Jesus says, peace, that is enough. When he says, be healed, that is enough. When he says, cry no more, that is enough. So whenever he speaks, he comforts. Not only does he comfort, he encourages. When things are tough, he encourages. Just one word, go on, I am with you. Do not be afraid. It's just a word he speaks, and you are encouraged to go on. It edifies, it strengthens us when we are at our weakest point. Therefore, it is important today to come to this understanding that if the Lord can speak a word today to each one of us, it will change everything. No matter what we are going through, no matter how dark our future appears to be, no matter how difficult it has been, when the Lord speaks today a word, it will change everything. It will change your situation. It will bring joy where there has been sorrow. It will bring, bring victory where there has been defeat. It will lift you up. It will make you a head and not a tail. Today is such a day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is the day the Lord desires to speak a word to each one of us. Amen. The word is going to impact your life as long as you combine it with faith. Every word that comes out of the mouth of God, it only works when we combine it with our faith. We receive it and we say, Lord, I receive it, it is mine. But I have this conviction today that Jesus is going to speak a word today and that word is going to revolutionize your life. This is the day the Lord has chosen to speak something today. His word is life. His word is power. That is all we need. We are in desperate need of the word of power. We are in desperate need of the word that is life. Jesus spoke a word to the centurion and that word healed the centurion servant at a distant mm -hmm. I want you to know that distance is not an issue with the word mm -hmm. that is why when we are told someone is sick back home mm -hmm. we still speak the word by the Spirit of God and that word does not know distance mm -hmm. Jesus spoke to this centurion because the centurion came and said, Lord, I do not need you to come to my house. I do not need you to come and lay hands on my servant. I do not need you to come and pray over my servant. I just need you to speak the word. And he said, Lord, speak the word. Hallelujah. We are pleading with the Lord today, Lord, please speak a word to us. I don't know what is in your heart, but I know there is a cry and you are asking the Lord, please speak a word to me. The centurion, all he was interested in is one thing, only the word. Forget about the faith he had, but look at what he was looking at, the word. This man, he had such understanding of the power of the word. And he compared the power of the word with his own command as a soldier. When he commands a soldier, the soldier does it. 
So he was telling Jesus, your word has so much power and it has life. I do not need you to come to my house. I just need you to speak the word. Master, speak the word and my servant shall be healed. Jesus therefore did not visit the servant, but he spoke the word. I want you to understand that many times when we are here, there are times the Spirit of God may instruct me to simply speak the word. I may not call you to lay hands on you or to pray over you. Jesus did not go to pray over this servant. Indeed, even when the centurion told him, my servant is sick, he never prayed. He never stood to pray, Lord, my God, my Father, I pray that you heal this servant. He spoke the word. And there are times here we simply speak the word. Today is such a day when we speak the word. The word changes things. The word does not know distance. The word does not require the laying on of hands. The word does not even require prayer. It is the word, it's a word of command. Let it be done. And because it is a word spoken by the mouth of Jesus Christ, it accomplishes exactly the way the centurion saw it. He said, Lord, just speak the word. Just command. Just say, servant, be healed. And the centurion said, that is enough. So today the Lord will speak a word. He spoke a word many years ago to me. And because every word that proceeds out of his mouth is life and power, that word spoken years ago in the 1990s, that word has sustained me. I have lived on it and I continue to live on it. You do recall my testimony when I was just about to give up on my job. I was pressurized, I was pushed to the wall. And I was just about to say quit. I was just about to write a letter of resignation. And as I have given this testimony before, I went to the bathroom and there I cried tears to the Lord. And I asked him this question, do I quit? Can I resign from this miserable place? At the end of the day, I receive a word, only one word. And he said, do not make a move. I am making plans for you, great plans for you. Do not make a move. I have lived on that word until this day. This is why we are here. On the strength and power of the spoken word coming out of the mouth of Jesus Christ himself. This is the power of a hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the power of every word spoken by the mouth of Jesus Christ. Today, the Lord is going to speak such a word. If you receive it, and like the centurion, you combine it with faith, and you say, this is a word not from the pastor, but this is a word by the mouth of Jesus Christ. Today, as I stand before you, I stand on behalf of the one who speaks, and it is done. I stand and I speak a word that he puts in my mouth. It is not of me. It does not originate from me. It comes from the mouth of Jesus Christ himself today. What is the Lord saying then to us today? You as an individual. When I say, what is the Lord saying to us today? 
Forget about the congregation. I am talking about you as an individual. I am talking about myself. What is the Lord's word to me today? Because if I hear that word, I am going to live by it. If today he speaks to me a word, then I know that word means life. That word brings healing. That word breaks the yoke of the devil. That word brings me victory. I need to hear a word spoken by the mouth of Jesus Christ. As his servant, I speak on his behalf. I speak the word that proceeds out of his mouth. And this is the word the Lord is speaking to you personally today. The Lord today is saying this. I have heard your cry. I have seen your tears. I have heard you calling my name. I have heard your inner anguish calling out my name. I have heard you. I have seen your constant intercessions, even not on your behalf, but on behalf of others. The Lord is saying, I have had those intercessions. Those prayers you have been praying on behalf of a loved one, on behalf of a sick relative, on behalf of your child, on behalf of your spouse, the Lord today is saying, I have received that intercession from you. I have had your struggles as you seek more of me. I have seen the thirst that is in you as you diligently seek me. I have had your questions as to why things have continued to be so hard. I have had you asking why is it that I am not getting a breakthrough? I have heard you. I have seen your struggles. I have seen that which no human eye is able to see. I have seen your discouragement. I have seen your disappointment. But today the Lord is saying this to you. He is saying this. My word says to you, ask, it shall be given. Yes. That is what the Lord is saying. Yes. My word says, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. Yes. Knock, and it shall be opened. Yes. That is what the Lord is saying. And he is saying, everyone, everyone, in Matthew 7, everyone who is asking receives. Amen. I want you to hold on to that. Amen. He says, everyone who asks receives. Yes. That is for us. That is for you personally. Amen. This is the word the Lord Jesus is speaking to you from his mouth. Everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. Everyone who knocks, the door is opened. Everyone says the spirit of the Lord. Everyone. So today, the Lord is speaking to you. And like the centurion, get hold of that little faith that is in you. 
hold on, on, on what the Lord is saying today that because everyone who asks receives it, you are no exception. Amen. Because everyone who seeks finds, so shall you find. Amen. Because everyone who knocks, it is opened, and it shall be opened for you. Amen. This is the word of the Lord to each one of you. I just want to release this word to you that you have been asking. You have been wondering about certain things. You have been struggling and you do not understand why. You have been seeking for a long time and you have been knocking according to the word of God. The Lord is saying, look at the centurion. The Bible doesn't say that he was a very good man so that he could receive. All this man had was the understanding that the word spoken by the Lord has life and power. That is all you need to hold on to with your faith. Therefore, I speak this word to you. That which you have been asking is granted in Jesus' name. That which you have been seeking, you are going to find in Jesus' name. The door you have been knocking on the Bible and the Word are telling you it shall be opened. This is the Word of the Lord. It proceeds from His mouth. It works instantly. This centurion servant, when Jesus spoke the Word, the Bible says the servant was healed instantly. It is going to be like that because the word of Jesus, when it comes out of his mouth, it has power. Yes. You receive this and run with it because as surely as the Lord lives, he will bring to pass this word he has spoken to us today. And the situations you have been facing for years, it is dealt with. It is done. Whatever it is you have been asking the Lord to do, it is done. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless you because when you speak, you only need to speak one word. Today you have spoken to us one word. A word of release, a word of victory, a word of healing, a word of success, a word of expansion. This one, Lord, let it begin to work. Just like that word you spoke to the centurion, it worked immediately because your word is power and it is life. And I pray for your people that your word spoken today will take effect immediately. Lord God Almighty, I thank you because you are not a man that you should lie. When you speak, you speak, it is done. And I thank you that in heaven it is written that it is done. I thank you then as I release your blessings to your people. Let your blessings follow them from this hour. As they leave this place, they go with them. Wherever they go, let them find their blessings waiting. Lord God Almighty, this week will not pass before they begin to experience the effect of the word you have spoken to us today. I therefore commit them into your hands, Lord. 
good shepherd I am handing over this congregation every one of them into your caring arms you shepherd them Lord Jesus from this hour onwards guide their feet shelter them from the evil one I decree success I decree victory I decree new things in the lives of the members of this place and those who will hear these words and combine them with their faith. Lord, I thank you. I bless you for hearing me. It is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I have prayed and all the people say, Amen. 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 And now may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord cause his countenance to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and keep you in peace. May the good shepherd himself take charge of you and walk with you and provide you with his light so that you will not stumble this week. May the Lord go before you to prepare your ways throughout this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 So be blessed, be blessed.